Some 3,000 years ago, a very rich king by the name of Solomon sat down and after adding up all that he'd acquired and accumulated, realized this. The crusty old king had more money than he knew what to do with. A situation he sadly refers to as vanity. You see, as the man who had more than he knew what to do with reflected on all the blood, sweat, and tears that went into accumulating all of this wealth, in the end, he realized that not only could he not take this stuff with him into the next life, but worse yet, he would have to leave it to others who might blow it all in one heartbeat. This too, he said, was vanity. And maybe that's how you feel right now. You're at that stage in life where you realize that much of the worry and toil that went into saving all this money for the future was in vain. Because in the end, as I outline in my book, Live Well, Die Broke, you only need so much money to live on. And for sure, you cannot take with you what's left after you're dead and gone. A good example of using and enjoying your money before it's too late is found in the book of Luke, beginning in chapter 15, verse 11, where a very rich man who clearly has more money than he knows what to do with gives half of his net worth to one of his sons, who then quickly leaves the family farm to enjoy some loose living and as a result blows every penny of it. In fact, the plight of this broke young man got so bad that the only work he could find was feeding hogs. Realizing that the family farm was starting to look a lot better than feeding someone else's pigs, the broken son decides that his only hope is to return to his father's farm and beg for forgiveness in hopes that his father will take him back. Upon returning home and approaching his father, much to the son's surprise, not only does the father gladly welcome the son back, the Bible says in verse 22, to celebrate the return of his son, the rich father tells the slaves to bring out the best of the best for his son and everyone else who wished to join in. In other words, he used the wealth that God had blessed him with to bless others as well. You see, friend, the lesson here is this. What brought this rich landowner the most joy was not seeing how much he could stockpile for the future, but rather see how he could use what he had stockpiled and share it with others and rejoice over it. This wealthy landowner realized that to not use the money while he was alive was vanity at its best. But Tony, you ask, I know for a fact that I do not have more money than I know what to do with. So what's this lesson for me all about? Well, friend, the lesson today is not about how much money you and I have in our possession and whether it will be enough to live high on the hog but rather this story is about that possession that awaits those of us who realize the vanity of this life here on earth and look forward to returning home to our Father in heaven. Certainly, this story is a reminder to get off our wallets and enjoy what we have now versus later, but it's more about the wonderful world that awaits us in heaven and a Father who looks forward to seeing us and blessing us with more than we could ever need or want. So regardless of whether you have more money than you know what to do with or feeling like you're on your last nickel, you keep the faith and know that one day the worries of the world will end and the good times will begin. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.